we're gonna draw some flamingos. Yeah, we're gonna draw a bunch of flamingos. Well, in a folding surprise, when it's folded up, it's gonna be one baby flamingo. And when you open it, it's gonna have a mommy and- A uh, family. A family of flamingos, yeah. <laughs> and this was requested from one of our awesome art friends. What's her name? Savannah. Savannah. She recognized us at the store and asked us if we could do this lesson. So this one is for you, Savannah. And what do we need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. All right, now the first step is to to fold our paper in half. So let's first take the top edge of our paper and fold it down to the bottom. I love folding surprises. Me too. I'll line it up and I'll fold it right down the middle and then out to the edges. Then we're gonna take this top flap right here and fold it back up to the top. All right, fold it down the middle. There you go. And boop. <laughs> then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna fold this flap the same way. We'll fold it up to the top. Now, if you guys need more time to finish this step, remember you can always pause the video. There you go. Next, let's unfold that last one and flip it back over. Now we're gonna use a scratch piece of paper underneath our drawing paper so that our marker doesn't bleed through and get onto the table. We're using red paper, but you guys at home can just use whatever scratch paper you have laying around. Okay, let's use our markers now, and we're gonna draw our first flamingo. This is gonna be a baby flamingo. We're gonna draw the little circle for the eye just above the fold, about this size. Draw a little circle. Like right here? Yeah, that's a good spot. Then we're gonna draw another circle that's smaller inside. Now we're gonna color that later, but let's draw the head next. We're gonna draw a curve. We're gonna start here below the eye and we're gonna draw a C shape. We're gonna come around like this and then come back over even further than the letter C. <laughs> Almost looks like a circle that you just didn't finish at the bottom. There we go. Now let's draw the beak. We're gonna draw another curve that comes out of the side like this and down. Then we're gonna curve back up and connect into the head. Flamingos have cute little beaks. Yeah. Well, they're kind of big beaks actually. <laughs> then we're gonna draw a curve for the mouth. We'll draw another curve that connects to the head. Then let's draw a line that comes down and connects to the bottom of the beak. Okay, now let's finish the neck. We'll start over here on the back and we're gonna draw a line that curves down and we're gonna go below the fold and then stop. Now let's draw the back of our baby flamingo. We'll draw a curve that comes up and down. <laughs> this could be a cute flamingo. <laughs> now let's draw the front of the neck we're gonna draw a curve that comes down below the fold and we'll keep curving all the way down and almost connect to this other line. She's looking really cute. <laughs> there you go. And then right here at the end, we'll connect. That's the tail of our flamingo. Okay. Oh, definitely gotta add eyelashes. I'm gonna add eyelashes too. <laughs> Now let's draw our first leg. We'll draw two lines that come down from her body. Then let's draw a line that comes forward on the first line and we can draw a line that comes down and then we're gonna connect these two lines with a zigzag line or the letter M. So we'll go up, down, up, and then connect. Kinda looks like a funny M. Now let's draw the other leg. We'll draw a line that comes down right next to it. And then we're gonna draw the line that comes forward. And then let's draw a zigzag line. We'll draw that letter M, diagonal M, <laughs> or sideways M. <laughs> there you go. And then if you have room, you can connect it back in. All right, now she has super short legs, but flamingos actually have long legs, mm -hmm. but that's because she's a cartoon and also a baby. Yeah. And when we draw the mommy uh, flamingo, she's gonna have she, really long she'll legs. have long legs. Yeah, let's draw the wing. So we'll draw a small curve right here. It looks like a U shape. 
and then we'll draw a bumpy line for the feathers. Three bumps. All right, good job. We drew our first baby flamingo. Now let's open up our, our folded paper. And this is where the surprise, the folding surprise is going to be. Let's come down here and we're gonna redraw her head down here at the bottom. So this is for our baby flamingo. Let's repeat a lot of those same steps. Let's first draw the eye. So let's draw another circle. Good, and then let's draw that smaller circle inside. And then we can draw our head. So first let's draw the, the front of her neck up a little higher. And then let's draw that C shape. So it's gonna come all the way around and then connect back to the back of her head. That's a fun line to draw. Yeah. Now let's draw our beak again. We'll draw that, we'll repeat the same steps. Draw that curve that comes down and then the smaller curve that comes back up and connects to her head. What was the next step? Her mouth. Her mouth. We'll draw a little curve, just like the bottom of her beak. And then that line that starts at the top and connects down to the bottom. All right, Hadley, we could add more eyelashes to that one if you want. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna add three little lines to her eyes. All right, now let's draw the mom flamingo. Let's draw a curve right here. The back of her neck is gonna come down like this and then we're gonna curve. Right at the end, we're gonna curve out to the side. Yeah, now let's draw our body. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes up and then back down. All right, now we can draw the front of her neck and we'll follow the, the back of her neck all the way down and then we'll continue to draw her belly and do the same thing we did for the baby body. We'll almost connect to the back line and then right here we'll draw a little curve down for, for her tail. <laughs> now let's draw her legs and we're gonna draw really long legs coming down and we wanna make sure that these two lines don't come all the way past this fold. We wanna make sure that this leg is above our guide fold down here at the bottom. That's because when we fold it back up like this, we won't see her little foot sticking out at the yeah. bottom. <laughs> okay, now right here, let's draw, let's draw her toes, just like we did for the baby. So let's draw the line forward, and we'll draw a line down, and then we can draw that sideways M shape to connect the two lines. Now those steps, we went a little fast because we're repeating them. We've already drawn them once, but if we went too fast, remember you can pause the video. Let's draw her back leg or her other leg bent, like how flamingos usually do. Yeah. We'll bend, we'll draw a sideways V, and we're gonna use overlapping. So this leg is gonna be behind the other one. So we'll draw a little line in front. We'll imagine that line going behind the leg and coming forward. Then let's draw the other side of her leg. We'll draw another sideways V. Then we'll imagine that line going behind the first leg. And then let's draw her foot. We're gonna draw a line down. And then over here, let's draw another line forward also. And then how do we connect these two lines? Draw the M. Yeah, for the toes. We'll go draw. We'll draw up, down, up, and then connect. All right, we got her legs and her feet. What are we missing on her body? Her wing. Yeah, her little wing. Let's draw the same curve that we did for the baby down here, but we could draw a little bigger. And then let's draw the three bumps for the feathers. All right, Hadley, I think we should add one more baby flamingo. But this part, we're gonna fast forward, and it's because we're gonna use all of the same steps that we've already done. So we're just gonna repeat those same steps for one more flamingo. Now you guys at home can pause the video to use those same steps to draw your baby flamingo. You could also leave this step off, or you could even add more flamingos. You could draw yeah. three more flamingos. <laughs> you could draw a lot. <laughs> or if you have room, you could add the dad flamingo. Oh, you could do that also. <laughs> All right, Hadley, you ready to fast forward? Yes. All right, let's do it.
Now we made that even trickier by changing the direction of our flamingo. We used the same steps, but made him facing the other direction. What do we still need to do to our drawings? Color them. Yeah, we need to color our drawings to get it look so much better, all colored in. Now this part, we are gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you guys can pause it, pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We finished coloring our flamingo surprise, and I love how your little baby flamingo turned out. It looks so much better colored in, don't you think? Yeah. Should we show our surprise? Three. Oh, oh okay. Three, two. two. <laughs> <laughs> your little flamingos turned out so perfect, Hadley. Did you have fun with this project? Yes. I think it would be really cool to add even more surprises inside. I also went around each of my flamingos with a blue marker, but you could add more details, like maybe they're standing in a lake or some water, and maybe there's even grass in the background. Tall grass. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun trying your flamingo surprise. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you use your own creativity to add even more details. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.